What is up, everyone? This is the Jose Show. I hope everyone is having a fantastic Wednesday. My, is it a fantastic Wednesday today because it is not sunny outside. It is not hot outside. The weather is gray. It is cloudy. And you know what? The more it's cloudy, the better because, hey, I don't really have to wear sunglasses and my eyes are now perfectly fine because there is no light all up in my eyes so i mean that's a very good thing um so anyways like the usual we got a lot of hot tea to spill so now let's get started so now let's start off with camila cabello who we all know got to start in the new version of the cinderella movie which is by amazon studios and camila cabello um got to attend the premiere of the movie on monday well, unfortunately, things did not go out well for the 24-year-old singer and actress because, unfortunately, she ended up passing out in the red carpet of the event, of, of the premiere event of the Cinderella movie. And apparently, um, Camila Cabello, she felt so bad that later on she apologized to everyone and... Then, um, Camila Cabello, unfortunately, did not share any additional details of the fainting incident. Um, but, but despite the brief scare, Camilo Power, Cabello powered through her speech and thanked the crowd for coming to the premiere. Um, she said, all I can say is, this was such an incredible experience, she told the audience. I believed in this movie so much that all I wanted was to enjoy it and not F it up. And I'm happy I didn't F it up. And I'm grateful for everybody who believed in me enough to give me the opportunity. End quote. That's what she said. Now, before heading inside to the premiere, Cabello, who takes on the titular and the titular role in the magical Amazon Studios film stopped to talk to E's Daily Pop on the red carpet. In addition to gushing about Cinderella, the Grammy nominee also dished about going viral with James Corden for the late night host's Crosswalk the Musical video. And in one clip posted to social media over the weekend, the Cinderella cast could be seen dancing in the street with Corden, who was dressed in a mouse costume. Um... And then Cam Camila Cabello went on and said, Oh my God, it was crazy. I've never done anything like that before. And then she went on and said, And I love the videos that I saw of the fans, just like from inside their cars. It was fun to re relive the songs too. Um, and then um, everything was just all, you know, up and happy for Camila Cabello um, other than the incident that happened so apparently Camila Cabello is definitely enjoying um, her new journey as an actress that's what it seems like it to me and what I think is that I feel like Camila Cabello if she's gonna continue on with these roles if she's gonna continue on um, you know um, going out there um, promoting more um movie th movie stuff then she's gonna you know be successful in the music in the in the film business like very successful you know she's gonna be making that huge crossover like big time i mean there's taylor swift there's lady gaga so i mean now camila cabello being the one that's doing it next i mean that i think is very um amazing that's very impressing and you know what i feel like you know to me i feel like camila cabello now that she got into this movie i feel like she is going to be motivated to make more movies because of how happy she seems to be um and of course i did hear that she is going to be releasing a new album sometime this fall so a lot of camila cabello fans are definitely looking forward to that and um camila cabello i mean she, right now, as we all know, is dating Shawn Mendes, and she is very happy to be dating Shawn Mendes. You know, I, I can tell that Camila Cabello and Shawn Mendes are literally having such a great time with each other, and I can tell that they're both very happy, you know? So, 
Camila, she is having the best time of her life. I mean, unfortunately, this incident did happen with her, and unfortunately, it had to happen in the night of the premiere of um, the premiere event of the movie. But I mean, good thing is that she she ended up okay. She she ended up just fine. So that's all that should matter, at least. You know, and good thing is, is that she still got to enjoy the event. So, anyways, um, good luck to Camila Cabello, though, on this new journey that she's taking. I really am happy for her, and I wish her nothing but, you know, happy and success. So, anyways, from Camila Cabello to now Kelly Ripa. Well, apparently... Kelly Ripa um, got to post a very steamy picture of herself at the beach recently. And apparently there was just one fan that did not like a pic that did not like the picture of Kelly Ripa being in the beach. Well, Kelly Ripa had to fire back at fans' accusation over her fresh face to beach photo. Um and apparently um Things just didn't go so well, but Kelly Ripa um, got to set the record straight about what helps keeping her looking so youthful. Well, as she and husband Mark Consuelos get used to their brand new status as empty nesters, the 50-year-old Live with Kelly and Ryan co-host shared a shot to Instagram of the couple relaxing during a day at the beach. Um... And then the description in the picture said cheese and baguette. Um, and then um, her comment section was quickly loaded with individuals remarking on how young she appeared in the shot. One such comment came from Carson Cressley, who wrote, Teenagers, in addition to Mark's Riverdale co-star, Marisol Nichols posted, You look 15. Then a different individual wrote, Babies heart eyes emoji so young and fresh faced and yet another fan shared ageless babies um then things got a little complicated after someone else posted how is it you look 10 years younger kelly raised eyebrow emoji must be a relaxing holiday this led a user to respond as beautiful as she is it's definitely a filter the person added a two hearts emoji. Kelly then replied to this um, person, firing back at this person, saying, If it was a filter, I would look amazing. It's just the angle and sunset light. End quote. That's what Kelly Ripa said. The star's response earned plenty of praise, as one person wrote, Perfect response, Kelly. Haha, ha. and by the way, you do look amazing. Another user posted, You do look amazing. I know it isn't a filter. You are just blessed and, t and take great care of yourself. And it shows. So, that's what went on with Kelly Ripa um, into responding to this um, hater and to this troll that was just, you know, going around trying to make people's lives complicated, just trying to make um, other people feel bad but good thing is that Kelly Ripa was brave enough to respond to this person you know especially because I mean Kelly Ripa she had a really good point in her responding because you know we as people we have the right to post whatever the heck we want on our Instagram pages we're not gonna have to go off and let other people bash us and judge us for what we're posting especially for living our lives you know, it's just people like that that don't want to let you live your life because they are not happy. That's the thing. And unfortunately, when it comes to these kind of haters is that they want to make themselves feel good by bashing other people. When in reality, it's just, you know, making themselves look bad, you know. So, honestly, I think that, you know, regardless of what age Kelly Ripa is, Kelly Ripa looks fantastic she looks gorgeous you know um we need to stop with the hate we need to stop with these filter accusations we need to stop with the um 
with with the humiliation we need to stop you know um you know we are human beings and you know a lot of human beings out there especially like 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 kelly ripa for example they take care of themselves so well they eat well they exercise well and it's the reason as to why they end up having a really good body um at you know at, re at any age you know so I mean, I applaud Kelly Ripa for standing up for herself, and honestly, it's something that a lot of people should do nowadays. It's just, you know, stand up. Stand up for themselves. <sighs> so, anyways, from Kelly Ripa to now, a different topic, which I think this other topic is going to be even more interesting but i mean it's definitely you know the hot tea that we get to spill here at this show so i mean hey i mean we might as well spill it anyways well anyways um let's talk about the fact that seinfeld the tv series is now officially coming to netflix after leaving hulu earlier this summer seinfeld will soon be available to stream as netflix announced the launch date for all 180 episodes. Um, on Wednesday, September 1st, the streaming service revealed that all 180 episodes of the Emmy-winning sitcom from a co-creators Jerry Seinfeld and Larry David will be available for viewing in October 1st. Back in 2015, Hulu had acquired streaming rights to the seminal 1990 show for nine seasons before Netflix purchased them in 2019, and the series left Hulu in June 2021. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Um, so anyways, um, I think that's pretty interesting that um, this popular sitcom is now coming to Netflix. Um, very very interesting very very cool um i pr i think it's very interesting and cool because i think that this show is you know one of the few shows that netflix has you know especially that's from the 90s first and foremost because unfortunately netflix the majority of the shows that netflix has it's not from the 90s it's from today or it's from the 2000s you know like, I mean, yes, I see certain 90s shows on there. Certain, but I don't see a lot that are there, you know? I really don't. N nor 80s, you know? And I feel like, as someone that does watch Netflix from time to time, I feel like Netflix needs to start putting, putting in more classic shows, you know, in order to attract more viewers, in order to attract more people. You know, that's what I feel like because, I mean, if they're just going to go off and not post um, or release any um, shows from back in the day, then, I mean, a lot of people are just going to feel like it's just useless having Netflix. So, I mean, I think that, um, that, I mean, Netflix is now doing a good job by doing this, but you know what, Netflix? What you should also do is you should also um, release Full House. I mean, we have Fuller House, but we need Full House as well on Netflix because Full House is such a great show. It is a show that we all love and remember that is also from the 90s. So come on now. Put on Full House. Put on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Put on The Nanny. Those are other shows that we need to watch, too, on Netflix. It ain't just Seinfeld, you know? So, I mean, those are just my suggestions. Those are just my points of view. So, I would watch Netflix more often if that was the case, you know? But anyways, I congratulate, you know, this cast of Seinfeld for now having their next show brought up on Netflix. Um, so, yeah. Um, so anyways, um, on to, uh, another topic that will, of course, be interesting. Well, as we all know, I mean, there is a lot of interesting stuff going on in today's world of Hollywood, as y'all can tell.
Well, uh, let's talk about Selena Gomez. Um, Selena Gomez apparently um, is going to be um, starring in a movie called Only Murders in the Building. And apparently, well, it's more, it's actually a series. Um, and apparently it was just announced yesterday that the Hulu original series made its debut, marking Selena Gomez's return to television almost 10, ten years after Wizards of Waverly Place went off the air. So it wasn't surprising that we found ourselves thinking about Gomez's star making role while taking in Hulu's mystery comedy. So as the fans of the 29-year-old actress, well-known Gomez, became a household name thanks to her portrayal of sarcastic wizard Alex Russo on the Disney Channel hit on the show, Alex was known for her biting wit, bright clothes, and tendency for troublemaking. And from what we can tell from the first few episodes of Only Murders in the Building, Gomez's newest character, Mabel Mora, isn't so different from Miss Russo. This is interesting. So, for starters, Mabel is first introduced to viewers in a fabulous attention-getting yellow jacket that would have likely had Alex casting a spell to get her hands on it. So, another noticeable comparison is that Alex and Mabel both have a distinct sense of humor, yet it's safe to say that Gomez's only murders in the building character is far from deadpan and dark. And then... 2,000 women report assaults here every year. Mabel bitingly notes about New York City in her opening line on the Hulu show. So it's a place that makes you binge Dateline to find out how not to end up on Dateline. Those are the few little um, scripts that um, and Mabel got to say um, on the series. Well, anyways, perhaps if Alex Russo had ever graduated from Disney Channel she too would have this scathing wit well 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 this is very very interesting this is very cool that um selena gomez is now returning to television for the first time in almost a decade and i also think it's very interesting that she's now getting a role that's similar to the last role she had um when she was on tv um well the last time she was on tv because, um, I mean, I would have expected for her to, you know, just star in, you know, different roles that have nothing to do or that, that, that have, um, no similarity to Alex Russo, especially because now she's completely over her Disney Channel days, you know, like, you know, I was expecting for her to make more, um, just more different roles, you know, especially now that she's a grown woman and, She's almost in her 30s, you know, you know, but apparently, I mean, she still has that Alex Russo in her that now she's returning um, with the role that is so similar to Alex Russo. And honestly, I am not disappointed at all. I'm very happy that she's returning to um, a role that's similar to Alex Russo because, I mean, it's just going to bring us vibes, like throwback vibes right there. You know, just having to see Selena Gomez do the similar things that Alex Russo did, but in a different show. You know, and it's going to definitely bring me back to my childhood because, I mean, I grew up watching The Wizards of Waverly Place, you guys. And as someone that grew up watching Disney Channel and that grew up watching that show, I mean, I really did enjoy watching that show. You know, and I just thought she was funny on that show. I thought she was intelligent on that show. I thought that she was just you know phenomenal so i mean it, it's just it, it's just nice to see um you know that she's returning to this to to a role that is similar to alex russo like big time you know it really really is and um so, I mean, I, I really am looking forward to this show. I mean, I really am, um, you know, seeing, 
what's to offer for this show. I mean, I can already imagine that this show is going to be more mature than The Wizards of Waverly Place because, I mean, this show is on Hulu. This show is not on Disney Channel. <laughs> and, of course, Selena Gomez, I mean, she's a grown woman now, so that completely explains as to why she... Um, that, ex that completely explains as to why I'm sure she is, that, that role that she's going to be in is going to be a thousand times more mature than Alex Russo. So, there's the thing. So anyways, um, that is it for today's show, you guys. I mean, it was nice gossiping about all of what's going on. It was nice just having to, you know, spill the tea as the usual. So anyways, you guys, I am going to be back with some more tea um, next time. And um, for those of you that are watching this video, please follow me on Instagram. Follow me on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter. Um, th um, the, the links are in the bio, you know, on where to follow me. And um, in the description. And... Um, you know, um, thank you, thank you so much for watching, and till next time.